Hello, 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 everybody. Uh, welcome to the stream with me, Forte07, and some more uh, heavy rain. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll be honest, the reason why I'm starting a few minutes late is my cat is like right in front of my monitor and I can't see like any of my fucking taskbar icons. <laughs> so I'm trying to lean over him to see. Um, if anything happens, it might have been because he pressed something. Yeah, I know it's lame to blame my cat, but he's in a position where, uh, he makes me extremely nervous. Um, anyway, before we get started, today is November 22nd. It's go for a ride day, as in a bike. Why would they have that at the end of November? If you were where I am... Um, you don't really want to be going for a ride on your bike in the weather we've been having, so no. According to my computer, I mean, sure, it's 9 p.m., but according to my computer, it's 28 degrees out, and uh, no thank you. No thank you. Anyway, we are back with heavy rain. Um, why is there an... Okay, this is before the credits. Um... So we're going to be starting a new game to try and get some of the other achievement, trophy, whatevers that we missed. Either because I didn't know I could kind of save scum, or because I just didn't get them for dumb reasons, like I, I missed them. So we're going to start a new file down here. Um, I have a list of the trophies we missed, and I have the wiki up to tell me how to do the trophies. So... For the ones that I missed, I will be, uh, I will be looking up how to, to do them. My cat is not liking the noise the PS3 is making. Paw Paw, it's fine. It's just the PS3. Here you go. Go to sleep. Yeah. Go to sleep. Paw Paw. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Um, so yeah. Unfortunately, like I kind of touched on, it's going to be a lot of the same because it's not like you can change up too much uh, how the story goes, I guess. Like for most parts. Um, you can get some people killed so you don't have to do their chapters if they die early on, but I'm going to try and keep everybody alive until maybe the end. Maybe the end I'll just fucking suck it and die or something. Um, we'll, we'll see. Uh, and I'm gonna see what I can get away with when it comes to, to save scumming some of these so I don't have to play it a bazillion times. Um, but when it comes to the endings for the different characters, that is apparently a thing I can't get away with, with save scumming on. Okay. Gotta go through tutorials. Um, he's not gonna put pants on unless we go shower. Gone shopping. I'll pick the kids up from school at lunchtime, and then I'll come home to get things ready for Jason's birthday party. A lunchtime? Wait, wait, wait. School? I love you. So, did these kids have a half day? What time of the year is it that they're having a random half day? Uh, I'm not gonna look at too many things... I better take a shower and get dressed before I go downstairs. I think the tutorial wanted me to listen to that, but I'm probably not going to listen to too many thoughts either. If I can help it. Get in the fucking shower. What's your name? Ethan? <laughs> I forgot your name. I wanted to call him Sean and I don't know why. But! Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try and expedite it, um, as much as I can. We're not gonna dick around too much. That was not supposed to be a joke, even though Ethan's standing here naked. I still don't like the design of this house. I like how he dried his head and he dried his back, but he didn't dry, like, his front at all so you know everything is just fucking wet oh right i better get dressed i'm just gonna walk downstairs a man in his own house can walk around in his underwear if he wants to 
Especially if nobody's home. Of course, with the way his house is designed, he probably should put something on because he just has giant ass windows and untouched concrete or whatever. But, you know. But I'm not going to look at the bird. It dies anyway. It doesn't matter. I don't think you can do anything to prevent the bird from dying. I think because the kid needs to have his uh, mortality questioned right before his brother eats it. I think it's that kid. I don't know. Whatever. The, the children are interchangeable. Okay. So... We missed a trophy here for happy birthday. We have to go finish our drawing. And then we got to, um, we got to set the table when wife comes home. And then we have to play with the kids properly. I, I guess I fucked it up by not doing the piggyback ride long enough, but I don't think I, s well, I set the table. I fucked it up a little bit and I finished the, the drawing. So I, there, there's probably a few trophies that I was like this close to getting and I messed it up because I didn't know how um, how picky it was going to be with what I did. I looked up some things but I, I try not to look up too too much stuff. But now that it's second time through, uh, you know, all that shit's out the window. Why are you putting- oh, okay, I guess it's a different pin you're putting up. Still don't know why for these lines he's- oops. I still don't know why for these lines he's not, you know, using a ruler. You're fine aligning this. Look, you're using your straight edge here. So I don't know why you're not doing it, you know, elsewhere. Didn't I just do this button combo? Did I not hold it down long enough or something? I thought he had finished it. Or did we just have to do it twice? I like how we only seen him clean up like three, four of the lines and now it's good enough for him to erase and spit all over. Again, he needs a horse hair brush. That way you're not spitting on your crap. Or using your hand like that and, you know, smearing things you might not have erased. Nope, not done yet. Gotta... Gotta scribble shade it. <laughs> yeah, no, it wouldn't work that way. I'm pretty sure I said that before, but it's like, I, I wish it was that easy to render in a whole area. It'd take a little bit more work than that. What kind of pen is that? Gray? It might be a marker. I was say you should still be wearing a smudge guard, but it's probably a marker. I like how he got all those tones from one fucking marker. It doesn't look like a marker. It looks like it's a... Well, maybe the plans are coming along nicely. a mix. Should be finished by Monday. Why can't you just finish them now? No one's here. Okay, so he signed your name. So that's done. Wife is not home yet, so we can't even set the table unless Ethan just happens to know instinctively he should set the table using the fine china that's in the cupboard. Um, but it looks like he does not, so I guess we can um, stick around. Is there a remote for this like little toy car under the thing? Because uh, I want to play with that. I'm sure the... The controls would be awful, but, you know, I want to try that. Ethan should have picked up a bunch of the grapes and juggled those. Yes, yes, look at your idyllic life before everything gets hit by a car. Let's go drink some orange juice, like a degenerate. 
can't even fucking put it in a glass. I don't want to dirty up dishes and you're just gonna drink out of the carton like a monster. I don't backwash, what are you talking about? I just don't have a family I live with. If he was a bachelor, maybe <laughs> I would forgive this, but he's not. He's a married man with children and he's just chugging out of the... Out of the fucking OJ. I guess he buys it. He can do what he wants with it, but come on, Ethan. I like how it started making slurping noises for that espresso before it was even close to his mouth. Come on, wife, get home with the kid so I can do other things. <gasps> Wait, there's the remote for the RC car! Neat. Oh, I don't get to control it. He just gets to have fun with it. Well, damn. I'm really nervous. The cat's getting really close. No, no, no. Papa, I don't trust you. I don't trust you right there. Near my shortcut buttons. Um, hold on. I just I know you're comfy, but I don't want you up here, Papa. No, don't don't step on uh oh. You stepped on the keyboard. Yeah, you need your big feet. Here. Just take a nap up here. Take a nap up here. That doesn't look like a comfy position, but just take a nap up here. Don't bite me and you can stay up here. It's not that hard. Yeah, they have this owl, unfinished concrete, this particle board table. Like, why does this... Wh who thinks this table looks good? I certainly fucking don't. Probably why I don't have a table like that. I don't have a table at all. I have a card table, actually, but I don't have... A table, but that's not really for entertaining people. It's for, you know, random crap. Okay, I guess I have to kill some time until my wife gets home. I guess I'll just have him lay down in the grass unless there's something else I have to do to trigger them getting home. I don't think there is, but I will go check. <gasps> I will go check. Um... No. See, this is just a time thing. For someone trying to relax, he's not doing a very good job of just staying still. Of course, I have no room to talk. Pick a position and stay in it, Ethan. Actually, I'm getting you up because it's annoying me to watch you. Oh, there we go. I got up just in time. And I teleported into the house. My family's home. Great. Dad, <laughs> hey, Dad. take it easy. You're gonna knock me over. Do it. Murder him. Uh, so this is your big day, huh? Am I grown up now? Hmm, ten years old. That's not exactly grown up. But you're getting there. Now, can I drive your car? And I think you're gonna have to wait a little while for that. Ethan, can you please help me? I'll think I'm about coming. it. What happens if you don't help your wife? Will it not let me not help her? Uh, they've been so excited since this morning. I could hardly keep them in line in the supermarket. I thought they were at school. What Did time is it? I didn't see a clock. I made some pretty good progress. I've just got to work on a few more details, and then I should be ready to present the plans to the clients. Ugh, oh, I've got a billion things to do. It'll never be ready before Jason's pals arrive. Can you please help me? Uh, there should be plates in the living room cupboard. No problem, leave it to me. Is this the living room? This looks like the dining room. Why do they keep their dining room that table? Always sticking. You know, Give in the living cup. room. Be careful with the fine china. I still think it's dumb that we're using the fine That's china. My mother gave us. Be careful, okay? Don't why? worry, I wouldn't want to be responsible for a diplomatic incident with your mother. Say, so, but why? Why would you use them for a children's party? It just does not make sense. Okay, we gotta be gentle about it. Last time she got mad at me because I didn't put that one down softly enough. 
I like how how determined he he has to look at these plates before he moves them where they need to go. Okay, I set the table. Anything else? She's more goddamn beautiful with every passing day. Okay. I think I'll go outside and play with the kids. Yeah, we'll go do that then. Hey nerds, what you doing? That's it. I'm free as a bird. Playing fucking Star Wars. Five minutes, boys. Okay. After that, we've got to eat because your friends are gonna be here okay. too. Okay, we promise, Mom. Five minutes. Who wants to go first? Me first. No, me, me first. first. Easy, fellas. You can both have a turn. I honestly don't know which kid is which. All right, Jason. Let's do the helicopter. <laughs> Okay, Jason's the eldest that dies first. I don't know. Okay, other kid. It's my turn now, it's my turn. So I guess I let him off my shoulders before he's supposed to. So we're gonna we're just gonna run okay, around so get ready. until the Here game we're tells ready. me not to. So no stopping, only this. <laughs> See, this already feels like it's gone on way too long. Because we have to listen to his giggling. While the other kid just stands there bored. Sorry, kiddo. The game says I have to do this. <laughs> Taking the accent to get Sean down will kill the trophy. <laughs> Apparently I like this kid better because I'm playing with him longer than you. Sorry, Jason. This is why I failed to stop the car from killing you here in a few bit. Okay, the yeah, game made me stop. Come on, Dad. Show us how strong yeah, show us you are. Big muscle. I just carried one kid around and I swung the other one about. What's the what's what's the difference here? That looks so awkward. I don't know why. It just really does. I'm sure they mo-capped it, but it looks so weird. Sean just looks funky too. Like what did they do to his face when he's little? It just doesn't this look time right. You're done for. You're gonna pay for all your crimes, evil one. Ha! <laughs> Surrender, weakling. Say your prayer. Oh, great. We gotta go through all of this, do we? Okay. Well, no mercy to this child. I don't care if it's his birthday. Give up. I am victorious. Or am I destined to just lose this? No mercy. Attack! Attack! Whoa! No mercy to the child! That's right. That would have killed you, but yeah, sure. You lived. Ooh, oh. oh, that's gonna leave a mark. <laughs> no mercy to the child. I like how Sean comes Who's over ready, to you to celebrate in? when he was telling Jason to kill me that whole time. But okay. Sean's just a two-timer. Okay, okay. Sean? Lunch is ready. Oh, I'll go get him. Right. He went upstairs and his bird died. The bird that was perfectly healthy if we had checked it. What did he do? Did he try to grab it and accidentally snapped its neck or something because it wouldn't come out for him? Or did it literally just drop dead? I guess it doesn't really fucking matter. Okay. Sean? What's up? I know I shouldn't be so... He's dead. Yeah. He's dead and it's all my fault. See, he says it's all his no, it's fault. Not, Sean. Of course it's not no, we fault. don't know that. We don't know what he did. He could have accidentally I snapped the poor thing's neck. Could come back to life. Wow, this feels so forced. You know, Sean, it's so so forced. There's some things which just have to happen, even if you don't want them to. It's not fair, Dad. 
It's not fair. Oh, look. And they were behind the birdcage, like they were, you know, prisoners to their own, like, I don't know, emotions or feelings or something uh, poignant like that. I don't fucking know. Great, now we get to do the mall scene again. I don't know when this trophy pops. I'm not gonna cross it off until we see it. Um, <laughs> boy, I wish I could skip some of this shit. I can't skip anything. It's not the point of this game. You gotta see this movie. I mean, this game story. It's not a movie. It's interactive. It's different. Oh, I'd like to have a quick look at some shoes for Sean. Can you watch Jason for a minute? I promise we won't be long. Sure, no problem. Why can't we just all go inside this shoe store? We're not going anywhere, are we, Jason? Come uh, on, you, 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 yeah, you think that, huh? When you, Ethan? Look at how bored he gets, like instantly. It's been a second, and he's already bored. I mean, I guess that's how ten-year-olds work. But holy crap! Again, when does this take place? Get this kid a Game Boy. You guys can afford a Game Boy for your, your fucking child to entertain him so he doesn't walk off and do this. Jason! Why are you running after him? Jason! If you're so worried Jason. about him walking off, Jason. you should be doing more than this leisurely Jason. walk. Jason! 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 Ah, I hate that one. Jason! I got some three times in a row. Jason! Oh, four. And Jason! Fourth one. Jason. Yuck. Oh, it stopped because clown. Okay. I'm right the fuck here. Nope. Nope. I'm on your tail this whole time. Hi, kiddo. Jason, you really shouldn't run her off like that, you know? There's an awful lot of people in Please, here. Please, Dad, can I have one? I would really love to have one. I'd Please, really Dad, love to have on. one. Would a ten year old okay. actually Let's say that? <laughs> Great. Hey, champ. What's your name? Jason. Which balloon would you like, Jason? Uh, the red one. There you go. That'll be two dollars, sir. Jason, wait for me. Wait for your dad, son. What's it's really crowded in here. Ten-year-old's fucking ridiculous. Now, is there a, a, a correct pocket to do, or does he have to get away? Like, do you have, like, a certain number of tries until... Change. Oh, okay. I feel like we did it three times last time. But it's like I... It is impossible to try on a pair of shoes with this crowd. Where's Jason? He was here a second ago. I bought him a balloon. I turned around and he just disappeared. Disappeared? What do you mean disappeared? Stay here. I'll go get him. I'll be right back. I feel like Grace is overreacting just a teeny Jason! tiny bit here. Because, okay... Jason! Has she tried to pay for something in a store holding Jason! a child's hand? It doesn't work out very well. Yeah, you need to keep an eye on them, but at the same time, Jason should be old enough Jason! to know better than to run off like he has. And she makes it sound like I make made him disappear on fucking purpose or something. Granted, the, the thought of the origami Jason! killer is not, like, new. Like, the, 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 the murders Jason. have been going on for a while in Jason. this universe. Jason. Um, but still. Jason. I like how they fake you out with that. Like, how did, the, how did this child teleport? Do I have to go to the one that has the wrong balloon? Jason. Probably. Jason. And where did that entire thing of balloons come from anyway? Those didn't God, exist really five minutes me. ago. And, like, I don't know. There's just so many contrivances here. And it's like, I get it. This is Jason! supposed to kind of be, like, Jason! maybe an over-exaggeration for a parent's worst nightmare. Because a mall would not be this crowded Jason! like this. I mean, maybe it would be. Jason! No, I don't feel like it would be. I've Jason! been in giant malls. I've been in malls during the holidays, Jason! and they don't get this fucking bad. Jason! I like how there's a paper supply store across the street. Only paper. 
toilet paper, tissue paper, origami Shit. paper, all kinds of paper. All they sell is paper. It might be a stationery store, I don't know. Dad. This kid's still an idiot, though. He should know better. He's 10 years no. old. It's it's kind of a... I, I, I almost wish he was, like, younger. See, look, you left your other child there. You turned your... Both of you are away from your second son. Someone could just come in, grab him, and leave. But, you know, Jason is apparently the favorite in the family. See, I almost wonder, why did they start it... Okay, they started out with the birthday scene. So you saw, like, Ethan's idyllic life. You know, his happy family. Oh, his son just turned 10. They managed to get one child to 10 years. But at the same time, it's like, I think finding out Jason's 10, it might be detrimental. I'm not saying 10-year-olds are smart, but you kind of expect th expect them to be a little bit smarter than I think Jason is. If he was younger or we didn't know his age, maybe they could get away with him being a complete moron. Or something. Okay, we got opening credits that I can't skip. But, <sighs> I don't know. Hey, there's there's lots of contrivances in this game, as we've kind of been over. But it's like, especially when you go through it like a second time, it just I think becomes a bit more evident. Pascal Langdale is a pretty cool name. Who's Pascal Langdale? Is that is that Ethan? I think Sam Douglas is, uh, is, yeah, Pascal Langdale is Ethan. Say, s s Sam Douglas is Scott. Okay, I'm pretty sure we got happy birthday. The next one we need is private eye, which we won't have to worry about until we, we have control of Scott. But, um... Yeah, all the other ones we... we well... Okay, we have to go through the entire apartment scene with with a uh, Ethan and Sean. I fucking I, kids' names are they're interchangeable at this point. I still don't know how I feel about like the entire scenes of just people standing there doing these credits. Kind of. They're kind of weird. I don't actually hate these opening credits either. It's just it's kind of annoying that I can't skip them at all. Yeah, it's part of the chapter. I don't think there's anything you can skip in this game, really. You're just stuck watching it. Of course, maybe showing those people standing out in the rain looking melancholy is just to show us that Ethan also does it. Because he can't afford a fucking umbrella. Why can't he wait in the car? I guess those other parents are waiting, but... Hi, Sean. Could have waited in the Dad. car? Sean definitely looks better with his hair like this. You know, maybe you shouldn't be so sad about your son not, you know, rushing to greet you and one, you're late as establishes later, and two, you're soaked. Like, you could have fucking not stood out in the rain, had an umbrella for your child like all those other parents did, waited in the car or something. I don't know. Try harder, Ethan. Try harder.
Oh, this is why you couldn't skip it, because you had to do this and you had to see the David Cage credit. Good job, David Cage. I actually think I saw on Humble Bundle they're doing a sale right now for the Quantum Dreams games. If I want it heavy grain on Steam. I guess I could get Detroit- no, Detroit Become Human might be on sale. Like, it might give you a sales code. And then, uh, I think you get- what was it? Beyond Two Souls? Sorry, I need to sneeze. I f Or not. Never mind. I hyped it up too much. Sneeze decided it didn't want that fucking happen. I want to watch cartoons. Oh, I still never took the time to go see if um, there's videos of the cartoons from this game anywhere. Snack, 4.30. Also, a detail I didn't notice the first time is they haven't finished unpacking their boxes and it's been two years. Time for snack. Maybe Sean is hungry. Snack. It's time for your snack. Are you hungry? I guess, uh, a little. Let's see what we can find in the kitchen. The fruit. No, you only need one fruit. Fruit. Here, Sean. Here's your snack. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> For some reason, I thought that was a clementine. Or similar, not an apple. Homework at six. Oh, right, and we should probably note that he's sniffling. Because, like, the good fucking dad we are, we couldn't get a fucking umbrella to make sure our cat- our kid wasn't, you know, walking in the rain. No, sit down. I want to watch TV. I wish I could change the fucking camera angle because I want to watch TV, too! There we go. Oh, cool. We're watching the part of the, the cartoon where nothing's happening. Hey, where's he going? Oh, I think he goes off to the bathroom. Well, then I'll just watch TV while he's in the goddamn bathroom. That's the other thing, is like, even if you know what you want to do, you can't rush it because I think there's like slight time triggers for certain things. Like, Sean has to go to the bathroom and I can't do anything until he gets back, probably. I don't know why I can't, you know, say anything to him when I'm sitting on the couch. Um, discuss? So, you wanna talk a little? Talk about what? I don't know, about you, your friends? About how the texture going. on my pants is popping Nothing in and special. out of existence. What time is it? Almost 5.30. Oh, he never picks up that fucking apple core off the couch. I mean, we could always start the homework early. Grace has Sean this weekend. Seems like he can't wait to get back to his mother. Yeah, 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 moping, moping, moping. Play? What do you say we play together for a while? I'd rather watch TV. No fucking play with your dad. <laughs> um, I make you do your homework. Why am I not getting the prompt about him sniffling? Oh, we can be a total creep and just sit in this chair in the corner and exist. <laughs> Why? Why do you have a chair here? The placement of half the furniture in this living room doesn't make a, a lick of fucking sense. See, Ethan, this makes you look like a fucking serial killer. We're not gonna sit here longer. Because it's making me uncomfortable. Okay, let's see what getting him to do his homework early. Oh. You've got a cold coming on. I'm gonna see if I can find some medicine for you. Okay, now I get that prompt. And then after this, we'll make him do his homework. Oh, right. The bathroom's in a separate room. 
Wait, where's this? Oh, I have to go all the way upstairs. Okay, I should have just foregone getting him medicine, I guess. It doesn't have to be right on the dot for the schedule, but, you know. Oh, I don't know why I turned that on. I know I mentioned it the first time, but how come the downstairs bathroom doesn't have a fucking sink in it? Is it because they're like, oh, they can just go to the kitchen? I'm not gonna- well, nope. I said I wasn't gonna do, like, unnecessary things. I just can't help being irresponsible. It's a medicine cabinet. No! Well, I guess that light's on because I don't get a prompt to turn it back off. I'm being irresponsible with my electricity, but I'm not going to be irresponsible with my drugs in my drug cabinet when I have a young child. And my wife already does not trust me with said child. Fucking kid. Take care of your goddamn apple core. Here, take this. It'll make you feel better. Thanks, Dad. Okay, homework time. Sean, do you want to do your homework now? Please, Dad, let me watch TV a little while longer. No. We'll do it later, okay? No. I think we should just get right to it. Then it's done and out of the way. Now, get your bag and get set up in the kitchen. I'll help you. Ten minutes late, damn it. And then I have to do dinner and then bed. <laughs> no, bed first, then dinner. You're gonna, you're gonna sit here like a- where is he? I, I don't have a prompt for the chair yet, so you're gonna sit here like a, a psychopath. Oh, he turned on the light. Okay, now I can sit down like a psychopath and just watch him do his homework. Because I don't actually help him until afterwards to check and make sure he actually did it. <laughs> Look at it! Look at how he sits there! Like, Dad, Jesus! I wouldn't want to be around Ethan either if this is how he fucking acts. I get it, you're depressed and everything, Ethan, but this is just- this is strange. It will never not be strange. I never like to ask my dad for doing homework. Yeah, it's too intimidating. He scolded me once for erasing too hard. Or at least writing too hard, because then that meant I had to erase too hard and I just wasted my whole eraser. Are you done? Dad, I'm finished. Can I go watch TV? Let me take a look after I just sat there creepily and watched you do it. Let me have a look. Didn't even really help. Pretty good. Looks like you're done. <laughs> Off you go. That was a weird face he was making. Okay. Is it dinner time yet? What time is it? Almost dinner time. I can start on dinner early, right? Do I not get the prompt to do any of the dinner stuff right now? Cause it's- cause I don't. I wanna be on time and the game won't let me be on time, or at least early. Here we go. Oh, I can have the alcohol or the orange juice, but I can't pick the dinner options yet cause we haven't spoken to our son about dinner. Do you want me to get your dinner? Oh yeah, I'm really hungry. Okay, I'll go see what I can find. What about that fucking apple you left, you, you know, the core for on the goddamn couch? Okay, I don't know what we got him last time. Was it pizza? I think it was pizza. Let's do roasted chicken. Something bothers me about the fact that pizza isn't wrapped or anything. It's just in... It's just in the fridge. He is kind of a shit dad, because I think both of these meals, you just nuke them in the microwave for 20 seconds. You have an oven, Ethan. I mean, sure, this is a microwave thing, but you can't buy something for your son that's not a microwave meal. 
That was my wife's job and she doesn't like me anymore because I let the other one die. You're not even gonna dry that? Fucking get a dish towel. What is your problem? You didn't even open- Oh, okay. I guess he cut it open. Must say, you didn't even open that. <laughs> Chicken lady with some potatoes and carrots. Yeah, I, mean, I guess. You can come now, Sean. Your meal is ready. I'm coming! The pizza, I think, looked better. Okay, well, we're just gonna sit here and awkwardly watch him eat. Because Ethan does not eat. He He's probably like a plant. He photosynthesizes and just slurps the water off the ground from all the rain. My fucking foot is caught in my pajama pants. <sighs> it's just so awkward. What else are you supposed to do here while you wait for him to eat? Except sit here and be awkward about it. I guess here he at least gets vegetables. You could argue with pizza. It's like, oh, there's tomato sauce on it. I don't know which is better. They're both still microwave meals. Also, what kind of kid actually uses a fucking fork and knife when you're eating a chicken leg? I don't think I've ever eaten a chicken leg with actual silverware. No, you didn't even eat half of that! Eat it! Can Ethan at least eat it? No! But there was so much food on that plate! I thought you were hungry! You had like three bites! What time is it? Okay, you have a half an hour to do whatever, I suppose. You didn't spend that much fucking time eating. I was- I- How are things at school? Is your teacher nice? Everything's fine, Dad. <laughs> this child's a zombie. I- I wanted to sit down on the couch. No! Why can't I sit down on the couch anymore? Okay, you're- you're being just really fucking weird right now, Ethan. Again. Still. It's too early to make him go to bed. Okay, we can go read about the origami killer, be all upset, blah blah blah, it's fine. Wouldn't he have heard about this on the news? I mean, it would be in the paper, but I feel like he would have heard it on the radio, on the news, in the paper. <laughs> um, what time is it? I'm just watching the same two cartoons. You go to bed early. I mean, I also would like to watch cartoons. This child's the same as his father, though. He can't sit the fuck still when he's doing anything. I say as I circle the kitchen because I don't know what to do for the next ten minutes. You know what? Close enough. Bedtime. Come on. Let's go to bed. Right now. Come on, Sean. It's time for bed. I'm not tired yet. Can I stay up a little longer? No, you didn't even fucking eat your dinner. Now that's not very reasonable, is it? You have school tomorrow. You have to get some sleep. All right. I'm going... Are you coming with me? Go brush your teeth and put on your pajamas. I'll come up. Can I get the teddy before he freaks out about not having it? Or do I... Okay, we're gonna preemptively grab it. Um, because I don't want it to come back down here. I'm actually surprised the game lets me preemptively grab it. Oh, he still has to brush his teeth. I guess I'll just creepily wait in his bedroom. Can I look at the sad drawing? Oh no, my hands are full. That means I can't react to my child drawing things about his brother getting hit by a car. At least turn on the light, I suppose. Oh, those are fun lights. I don't know how that hooks up to the light switch necessarily, but those are fun. Okay, get in here. There's party cats and a giraffe, space, a dinosaur, rainbow wallpaper. How old is this child again? Are you okay? Why are, you, why are your legs doing that? No, people don't sleep like that. They don't sleep facing towards the ceiling with their legs turned. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, I knew you didn't fucking have it. 
I'm psychic. Good night, Sean. Cleaned it for you then. That's why I knew it was down in the washroom. Dad? Yeah? Why do you look so sad? I think I just need some time. To get back to the way things were. You know, Dad, what happened to Jaden wasn't your fault. I still think this night, whole conversation is just really silly for this child to have. Considering he also looks sad as fuck and he has the drawing on his desk. I mean, good, good on you, kiddo, for trying to cheer up your dad. But at the same fucking time, I think you also need to be in some form of therapy like your father is. If he is or not, I don't know. I mean, he gets kidnapped in a little bit anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but... Kiss. Oh, good dad. Except for when I'm not gonna be a good dad. Oh no, he's still fucking traumatized. Because that makes actually a lot of fucking sense. Okay. I don't know why I felt the need to go look at it. Maybe because he didn't fucking let me look at it earlier and it just kind of annoyed the shit out of me. Okay, we're gonna close it gently this time. Last time I slammed it a little bit. Oh, we, we, we don't even close it. We just crack it. Okay, and now we have to have our little blackout session. Oh, so I had to, I had to go get a new notebook. My, uh, my blue one that I use for game notes is all full. So now I have this, this green one for game notes. God, the texture on his pants just do not want to, to do. I don't know why I keep pressing start like that's going to do something. I still don't really get, though, why he also is finding origami figures in his hand after he blacks out. Like, is he just that affected by the news? that subconsciously he's like oh i gotta make fucking origami like is this how he copes like his subconscious like i feel so guilty about killing my son i must be a mass murderer that just makes origami figures like why they don't establish him having any any kind of connection to origami at all which i guess is part of the the thing but it's just it it feels forced to kind of give you the red herring. It's like, oh, could he be the origami killer? Can I have this trophy, please? Come on, I did it right. There we go. Okay, so there's happy birthday. I need to get one here with Scott for private eye. We fucked this one up. We have to get her to talk about her son. Last time she just kicked us out because we weren't very uh, tactile about it. That car looks like it's made out of wood from the top because of the rain texture. The rain effect, I guess. I've heard of a wood panel car, but a full wood bodied car? That's a bit much, I suppose. Do I have to inquire about her or can I just go straight up to her apartment? Or her room? It's the last door on the left. Like, do I not have to go and and give that guy the cash? Long winter. Sorry, I only declined by appointment. Wait. It's fifty bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Okay. Get her to talk about her son by choosing compassionate, then trick. Okay. I don't know what we chose the first time, but it didn't work. Put your money on the table. You got exactly ten minutes when the alarm rings. It's over, okay? Do they make just fifty dollar bills? You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. 
I should have known. What you want, a freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about them. I kind of understand why they don't let you skip stuff, because again, I already told the police this is all I know and have nothing to add. A giant story-based thing, and you want, you know, the actor's time and effort more. highlighted. I know what but you're going through. Oh, yeah? It just makes this game... you know game what it feels like to find your own son's body on Not artificially land? long. I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. Okay, um... Persist. There'll be other victims if we don't stop the I killer. Need Tim to get to, I need a trick option. You have got to help me, Lauren. You may know something that can aid the investigation. Help you? There's nothing you can do. My son's dead, do you hear me? He's dead. Trick. If we don't find the killer, there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. But, but, but you're right. Why should you care? It's not your problem anymore, right? I still think Scott's actor did a really good job with, like, a lot of his deliveries. Not that the other ones don't. It's just... Would you want to know? He's probably one of the more convincing characters. Which is good, considering, you know, they kind of have to... Tell me about Hide that. His, his true, uh... What kind of kid was he? Donnie was really a good boy. His true... Sometimes. What's the word? He fought with other kids who called me a, you know. In his own way, I think he understood what was going on. I don't know what the word is I'm thinking of. I don't know why I keep fucking forgetting words right now. Tell me about Johnny's father. A loser without a job who liked to beat me after a few drinks. He left the day Johnny disappeared. I ain't seen him since. Coward. Good thing he left. You want one? No thanks, I quit. I have Can't asthma. Play. Do I not get any more prompts? Suspect, I guess. Did you suspect anyone after he disappeared? I meet a lot of pretty shady characters in my line of work. Sure, I thought of it at first. But it didn't seem to make any sense. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't believe any of my clients... What is this? ...could have done that. Did a Come smoke on, effect break? What was that? And all those other kids? How did your son disappear? He used to go play with I the need to go kids see after it. school. It was pouring down something awful that day. Guys, look! I'll never forget it. It the cigarette or something broke. Why is it Mom's over here? Came home around five. Except <laughs> him. Look, it broke. I'm totally paying attention to what you said, my my dear lady. See, this is why. Oh, Shelby. hi, Brian. Th I hope this. You got what you wanted. Don't get out of here. Th this is why when we couldn't figure out if it was glass or a piece of wood, that I I think this is a perfect example why, because this game just fucking broke a little bit. Teeny tiny bit. Okay. Anyway, we gotta leave. Oh look, it's gone now. It stopped being broken. Did it teleport back to her hand where it's supposed to be? Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail. Give me a call. It's like the cigarette she lit teleported to the wrong place. Because it shouldn't have been on that side of the fucking bed. Anyway, whatever. Time to leave, then we gotta do a fight scene. Oh, I'm sorry, we have to have an asthma attack first. You know what I think is interesting is they introduced this being a problem. But I don't think they ever have him having another fucking asthma attack. And he does an awful lot of fucking shit that you think would be, I don't know, that his asthma would be detrimental to. Lauren, open up, baby. It's me. Sorry, what are you doing here? Like he... I already told you, I don't want to see you anymore. Sorry, Del. But I really wanted to see ya. 
Like, he does a few different, like, fight scenes and shit. And they, I, I really don't think they bring up his, his asthma all that much. Like, why even introduce it? What do you want, asshole? Like, congrats, Lauren. Tia's asthma. Is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser. Okie dokie, then. Kicking down the door. You again? If you're looking for trouble, you found it. You again, it's been half a second. Shit out of you. Okay. Oh. No, I did that prompt right. These quarter turns don't seem to be very much. I guess they're half turns. They're not quarters. Whatever. Why doesn't she just call the cops? Is it because she is a hooker? I mean, this guy just came in and came in here and assaulted you. I think you have plenty of reason to call the cops on him. Fuck that table. Oops. Ow. Oh. I wasn't expecting to miss that one prompt. I was smashing the other one. Oh. She's positioned so awkwardly in the scene. Asshole. Yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense, though. Like, where else are you so I mean, you right? she could have gone to the corner of the room. <laughs> Better than him, I guess. But I guess it's a fight. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told oh. him I didn't want to see him anymore. Hold on. I fucking seat cushions. Oh. You should be careful. <laughs> He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby. Sure, the $50 yeah. I put on your broken Thanks. table will fix the broken table. Like, dude, yeah, yeah, she just stands there. If you do all that perfectly, does he not, like, gripe about being hurt? Okay, so... Where's my pen? That should get us private eye. Good friends we don't have to worry about until we're with Ethan again. Uh, we got FBI investigator, so we should be fine. And then... Okay, so here's that one. Okay, yeah. The negotiator. Which one is that? Okay, that's where we have to keep the robber from... Well, we actually have to convince the robber to not do anything drastic. And we failed that last time. I don't actually remember how we got out of that. Um, now I'm actually going to go through the, the, um, the trouble of getting all the clues, because one of the other trophies is called Nerd, where you actually get all of the clues, I think, every time you're with, you're with Norman. Um, and the other times we were investigating, I guess we missed some, some shit. See, okay, I was complaining about them establishing Scott's, um, asthma, but it doesn't come up again. Uh, Norman's slight drug addiction isn't an actual problem, and it's it, it's tied into like you know his storyline towards the end. I I really feel like with Scott they don't really do too much more with his asthma. The zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. Norman. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. You know, if you're gonna walk up to a, a police scene and claim your FBI, wouldn't you Check. already have Pass. it out of your pocket, possibly? I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. 
Like, I, I don't know. As an FBI investigator, you should expect the local police to kind of be combative with you. I know it's a cliche, but you should just kind of assume. Like, if you need credentials like that to prove you're FBI, you should already have that out. That's like going to an airport and going through security and not having your passport and shit Video out when you know they're going to ask for it. 7023, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time okay, this was in 2011, yeah. See, when they, when they were at the mall, which would have been 2009, I'm pretty sure they had, you know, did, was the 3DS out at that point? They, they could have gotten their son something to fucking distract him with instead of him running off to get a fucking balloon at the goddamn mall. But then we wouldn't have a game to play. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Cool, thanks for just pointing over- oh. Thanks. He's the only other guy in- that's in not in a, a police-issued raincoat, of course. All the main characters are psychopaths because they don't use umbrellas and they walk around in uh, heavy rain. What is your problem? Why Why did you react to the puddle like that? We're going to go talk to Blake. Goodness. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning office. they told me to be here. Now if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Thanks. Like, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Why is it? Wouldn't you have well, stopped that coming, when you Jayden? first got here? So, evidence, you know? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about six o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, how does no like one, the work of the how nobody in killer. this game die from pneumonia? Like, you know, they just. Do we know the cause of death. There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned, like the others. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Well, look, he just sneezed. Has the body been identified? Who was that? Was it the cop or was that no, Norman? not yet. Someone we sneezed. We should know more later today. Listen, you look busy. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Hey, Jaden. Come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. No, I still don't like you. You're still a piece of trash. <laughs> I legitimately hate J uh, Blake as a character. He sucks. I get it. It's your cliche kind of corrupt cop thing. But God, I, I, I don't like him. Oh, I'll say, how come I'm not getting any clues? Because I didn't do my fucking bat vision thing. Can I have a clue? I could, I could have been doing this before I even talked to Blake, and I didn't. Okay, I'm seeing footprints. Why am I not getting any prompts for them? See, Norman's walking around like he's fucking frigid. He's not even- ugh, God damn it. Even York and Deadly Premonition put on a, an issued Harry fucking County. raincoat when it was raining. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Okay. There are ten clues. So, they're not even the ones related to the cops. We'll go up the hill last. We'll do the rest of them over here in the tent first. I get why they don't put their main characters in raincoats. You want to be able to recognize them, but it's Some just... It, it comes off as the irresponsible. The in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain. But it gets higher in the direction of the body. Like, sure, I don't use an umbrella all the time or have- I don't even have a raincoat, but it's like, if I'm gonna be out in, like, heavy rain like this for extended periods of times, I'd probably bring an umbrella. Harry, comment. The victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. A small origami figure in the right hand. 
fingers were probably closed after the time of death. I gotta, you know, the victim is take Jeremy advantage Bowles, of that rick and mortis. missing five days ago. See reference file. Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. His face is covered with mud, okay. like the other victims. Pollen near the tent, blood on his leg, orchid on his chest, mud on his face, origami figure in his hand. Fingerprint of Jeremy Bowles. You must check his hand twice to get the trophy. Um, well, I see it, but I don't have... Well, I mean, we've already gotten this trophy. The front print near the highway, the tire tracks. Okay. Well, they're not giving me any more prompts. I'm just going to assume I got everything. These are going to be the footprints of the officers. I don't think this Aaron counts. comment. Sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Yeah. Okay. Now the railway has a few we need to get. Comment. The pollen particles disappear in the tall grass. It's probably the end of the trail. Oh, is this more pollen? No, this is blood. Should be blood? Harry, comment. Traces of blood on the railroad track. Analysis confirms it comes from the victim. So we need the footprint, and then there should be some blood on the fence, and then we have to go up on the hill. Footprints continue just after the pollen trail. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Okay, and then the fence. Harry, comment. There are traces of blood on the fence behind the railroad line. It comes from the victim. The killer came this way with the body and probably grazed it on his way through the fence. Why is he going through the fence? There's a gap. You don't need to go through the fence. Oh, I guess you just get dirty anyway, because I didn't have a prompt to not get fucking muddy. Like, he's definitely not even wearing the right shoes to be out in the rain. So I can't even feel bad for him for slipping around in the mud. You could have checked the weather report before you got into town, Norman. Do your fancy sci-fi glasses not fucking tell you the weather's shit right now? Oops. Hell, great. I, I get it, this would probably be a pain, but god, he makes this look so hard. You're not fucking climbing. Um, uh, fuck. Why can't I think of things? What, what mountain am I thinking of? What's the tallest mountain? Mount Everest. You're not climbing Mount Everest here, Norman. You're going up a muddy hill. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Okay. Could be two things up here. Harry, come in. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. Or maybe the killer's car. We have seen all there is to see. Okay. So now that he said that, that means we've gotten everything that's pertinent to the case and we can leave. We'll do our little tap dance back down the hill. Hmm. Okay. And now we can we can leave. 
And the trophy won't pop for that. I just need to do it for a trophy later on. I really wish I could fucking run. That's the other thing is R2 is what, what makes your character walk forward. And you know, in most games, when you want to walk forward, you press forward on the analog stick. And then if you want to run, you press R2 to run. This game is like, no. Oh shit, the camera angle changed. It did not like that. Oh, I guess we should take off our our glasses so we don't fucking give ourselves another brain aneurysm. I don't think I have the option to put his safety belt on. I think that other thing just opens the door. Okay. So we should be back with Ethan and Sean because we need Sean to get kidnapped to actually, you know, do anything. I like how when I get, when someone messages me on Discord, um, it takes like, I don't know, 30 minutes for it to actually give me the notification on my phone. That's really annoying, actually. Okay, good friend. So I messed this up. We have to play two games with Sean and then get him candy. Oh, um, butterfly. The butterfly. Fox. A fox. Blades. Kind of crab. A crab. Death, shadow, blood, death. 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 This fucking psychology, like, psychologist office is just fucking pretentious. Does David Cage have a thing against, like, therapists or something? Like, th this office is I so the over the fucking the top. Everything seems to be normal. With the chair, no the, the projector screen yet. that's on a, a weird boom arm, the windows, However, the I giant thing that says ego. Condition. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. Memory, sadness, no Jason fucking dead. shit. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. He'd still be alive if you taught your ten-year-old child not to run off without his parents in a crowded mall. Forever for your son's death. It's not your fault. Your <laughs> your kid was kind of a Sean? dingus. He's also sad. Um. Um, distant. Um, I know he's disappointed. Okay, in me. I didn't pick I'm not that. Not the father I used to be. He's a great kid. I waited you know. too he long. Deserves better. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? Anxiety, according to your computer. Why are you asking me these questions? Dead. I stopped living at the same time Jason did. Oh, I have that weird thing on my head. That's how they can tell that I'm and sad and shit. Car ran into us. I still don't know how it didn't just outright kill you, and else you wanted your son should have been fine, but you know, whatever. I'm the origami killer. Um, blackouts. Terror. I sometimes have these blackouts. Times when... The face on this therapist, I, I think it's supposed to be comforting, but it also kind of comes off as, like, I contemptuous, and I kind of hate it. Later, but I'm someplace else. And I have no idea how I got there. Do you think this could be related to the accident? You suffered a massive concussion and were in a coma for six months. We really don't know what effect a shock like that can have on the brain. Thanks. That That's was the end a, of this session. a non fucking we'll continue answer. The conversation next week. I'm gonna take off your okay, yeah, the weird sci-fi headset. You were lucky, Ethan. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. 
some of the writing in this game is just so... <laughs> It's so cliche. You should be lucky you didn't die. I don't feel lucky because my son died. Kind of reminds me of Woody Harrelson. Who the, the therapist. I can kind of see that. Okay, so we can either push him on the swings, play with the boomerang in his backpack, play on the seesaw, or spin him on the merry-go-round, and then we have to buy him candy. Um. Aren't you going to go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. What do you feel like doing, Sean? <laughs> okay. So we have to pick two things. I think we did three things last time. And then we have to go buy him some candies. You know how to use it? No, not really. I can never make it come back. Can I give it a try? This, this, Sean should have said, No, Dad, I don't feel like you taking my boomerang for a fucking spin. Wah! <laughs> If I don't catch it, will it just bean him in the head? I don't want to look like an idiot in front of my son, though. I mean, I kind of do, but I also don't. Whoa! You did it, Dad! I did it the first you time, to you dingus! To do it. Oh, come on, let's try it together. Now, the main thing is to get the right position at the beginning. Now, you gotta throw it straight and a little to the right. That's not straight, that's a little to the right. Now, throw it! Lucky that you know it. that that it, arcs Dad. back Good in a way job, that doesn't bean a ki another kid so in the hard. head, which would have been really fucking funny. Cheese it! <laughs> Made this other kid fucking cry. Yeah, he's at a park. Okay, um, I, we did, mm, I guess we'll do this see you saw. What, what was the other options? Swings. We didn't do the swings last time. Where are the swings at? I'm gonna play on the swings. I'm gonna turn my back on my child. Where are the fucking swings at? No, not the seesaw. I wanna go on the swings. Actually, can I go buy him candy now so I don't forget? Or do I have to... Or do I have to do it first? That's what I was thinking. Like, how is he not hit... You want to go play on the swing? Yeah, if you're going to play with a boomerang, it's like using a you. kite. You don't do it in a busy park. You okay. do it in a field next to a park. It is kind of a, a dumb place to be throwing a boomerang. Because it, it, what, what if the angle's off and it comes back and it knocks out one of these other children? It'd be hilarious, but it'd be really bad at the same time. Why are you pushing by the chains? I don't think I've ever pushed a child by doing it with the chains. I think I've always pushed them using their back. If they're holding on, maybe I've used the chains? I don't fucking know. I haven't had to push a child on a swing in a while. These are some lousy pushes. Come on, like you mean it. You gotta make him flip all the way around the bar. Everyone tries to do that, at least once in their goddamn life. Oh, we're, we're done now? It'd be absolutely hilarious if a kid got beamed in the head if you didn't cool. throw it. I, you know? No, but they wouldn't let me. They would just backpedal the animation and be like, Oh, try again, you fucking suck. Okay, let's go buy him some candy. Candies. I'd like a packet of strawberry-flavored chewies, please. Oh, I have some strawberry, Thanks. chewy, gummy things. Hey, I got you some chewies. I don't like I strawberry. <laughs> Bad dad. Thanks. It was nice of you anyway. Gee, thanks, son. You're... <sighs> okay, so we did the two things. You want to play on the seesaw? Or are you mad at me now because I got you I the wrong candy? I have been on a seesaw in a long time. 
What do you think? Yeah. Gotta, gotta cheer him back up because I got him the wrong fucking candy. You know, I can't say, is this a European thing? If you went to a park and they actually had a, a candy, a candy vendor. Come on, Dad. Make me fly. I can't say there's any park here in the States that I know of. At least not where I live. Where there's actually someone, unless it's like a, a like a community event, right? So like my town, they have like movie nights down, down uh, near City Hall. And they... And, and they'll have like concerts, right? And they'll they'll get like a few few food trucks in, uh, an ice cream truck, you know, because this is during the summer. But I can't say I've ever gone to a park. Of course, I can't say I've been to many parks that actually have a, a, a at least parks this small that have a fucking carousel in it. But like, I can't say I've I've seen just a candy cart. Looks like rain's coming. I think we better go. Okay. Yeah, just go home right now. My stupid fuck. You know, sometimes I remember before. Look, we can just I go out that way. Jason go home. Oh, boy. Sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before. Gee, thanks, son. I tried really- Me too, Sean. Me too. I tried really fucking hard, kiddo. Can we just leave this way? Why do we have to go that way? Why is my son the one that's leading me home? Maybe I wanted to take- Come on, Dad, what are you doing? Ma coming. Maybe I wanted to take the scenic fucking route home even though it's about to rain. Are you coming or not? Because apparently I can't go out the opposite direction towards the bridge. I have to go over here by the carousel for you to get distracted. So I have to go buy a ticket so you get fucking kidnapped. <laughs> Stupid children. <laughs> Why are you walking like that? It's hardly raining. What's going hey, on? Dad. Can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? Sure. Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. I was trying to keep the camera on the kid, but the camera didn't One, want please. to stay on the kid. That's a dollar. And her child's gone. I'm sorry. It's not like you walked off that far for your kid to be like, Oh no, where did- Oh no, he did get on. I was like, it's not like you walked off that far for your kid to be like, Oh no, I'm lost. There's a cop here. I can ask him to help me find my dad. Oh, that's right. Never mind. We black out, don't we? We look away for two seconds and we have Silent Hill's fucking fuzz effect tapping on our camera. They might as well just made the, the fucking ground turn to rust and everything go dark and an air siren start blaring and then it get foggy. And just put me in a Silent Hill game. It's not a Silent Hill game. He blacks out. Oh, I almost died. He blacks- whatever. The sea should have woken up in Silent Hill. Of course, with all the rain, it would have been downpour and I don't know if I'd be happy with that. <laughs> What do I want? A Silent Hill game or do I want downpour? <laughs> Heavy rain or downpour? Heavy rain or downpour? Uh, I don't know. Both games have dads that have, you know, things with their son going on. Okay, we're just gonna run out of that. Then all the way back. Okay, see, now this makes sense. But... But I have a question, like, okay, he blacks out in the park, no one stops him from just kind of zombie walking away, and his son doesn't happen to see his dad and be like, hey dad, what the fuck are you doing? Like, Scott is just so, so lucky that Ethan even has this problem of blacking out, because regardless of if you had seen him when when Jason died, which is what Scott says, like, oh, I saw that you would, you know, give your life to save your son, and that meant I had to test you. Like, how long has Scott Shelby been fucking stalking Ethan and Sean for this opportunity? I mean, I guess long enough for him to find out, oh, this guy fucking sleepwalks randomly at night into the middle of a fucking street. I'm just gonna fucking stuff this origami dog figure in his hand while he's blacked out. Give him weird anxiety or whatever. Like, he's just so lucky that because of his accident of saving his first son, he has this weird blackout issue due to concussion slash coma. Because I feel like, I feel like Ethan, sure, he's not the most attentive father right now. Where did that come from? Like, it's just, it's, it's so fucking confusing.
contrived. But like, if if Ethan didn't go and black out and walk around, he probably would have been keeping a better eye on fucking Sean on the carousel. Like he is so lucky that this happened during the time it was raining. I'm not saying the other fathers that had their kids stolen weren't paying attention, but like the <laughs> the the. The contrivances of just this setup. The more you think about it, the worse they get. He had, Scott had to kidnap Sean Mars when it was going to rain for like four or five days where there'd be enough rainwater to drown the kid if his father didn't do it correctly. He had to set up all the traps, all the puzzles, everything beforehand. And they just sat there until the rain happened and the kid was available for him to kidnap him without his father being attentive enough because there there's a chance that you know do you think it's going to take long that you know no he should be you, you would think okay okay this is what i'm getting at scott shelby is already targeting ethan mars and sean since the accident that happened to kill jason 2 years prior they said that Oh, I saw what you did for your son two years ago. And that meant I had to test you or something. Like, two, like he's been stalking him, let's assume, for two years. To figure out his pattern, to see how he is, you know, psychologically even. After his six-month coma, of course. So it's been like a year and a half. But, like... It's, it's just so fucking contrived. I'm not saying serial killers can't be, like, meticulous with their planning, but the, the, the level of, of, of conveniences that have to happen, I feel, just feel too high. It has to be raining. He has to not be paying attention to his son so I can, I can kidnap him. Because you would think Scott would assume, like, oh, he was willing to die for his first son, um after he wandered off like i don't know M maybe this is me grasping for straws but like how are you even sure that this father's not going to pay attention to his kid long enough for you to nab him while it's raining for longer than a day like what happens if he kidnapped this kid <laughs> right and the weather report was wrong and it only rained for a day. Sure, it had already been raining like two days. And Blake establishes that it rains a lot here. And I, that's just the area. But it's like, what happens if they just randomly had a dry spell? For whatever reason. Sometimes the, the weather can be an asshole. <laughs> He's just lucky the weather wasn't an asshole. We're not going to play ball this time. He's just going to suck on his teeth. <laughs> oh, is this all? Do I have to? Okay, okay, okay. I say, do I have to play with these? Or are you just gonna keep making horse noises and sucking on your teeth the whole fucking time? Golly. Oh, see, Brian, it's not a prosthetic, it's a glove. He needs it to play with his glasses. Oh, look. Oh, look, it's the tanks that haunt him at the end of the game. I want to play with the little toy tanks. Fuck this baseball shit. I do like the sound effect for the bricks. That was a good sound effect. Look at, look at how happy he is. He's having the time of his fucking life. I like how the counter indicates that he's done this 21,000, or is that a seven? I don't know if those are ones or, I think those are ones. At least 21,000 times he's been bored enough to sit around and do that. Around your eyes are looking really red, Norman. We shouldn't have done that. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI He's right here. behind you, actually. Jaden, of course, we've been expecting you. Uh, I'm in a okay. bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. 
I wanted to introduce myself before introduce. getting started, but well, why do you uh, say introduce like that? No, no, it's fine. I know I pick on Norman's actor a lot for how he yeah, says things, but that no. was distracting. Believe I don't mind how he says Norman. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> today we had some news. Oh, I'm sorry. Have you met Lieutenant Blake? Yet? Unfortunately. Yeah, we met this morning. Can I? This is awkward. Methods, but he's a Hello. Good I'm sure you'll Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to tie a knot in a I do. I guess. I wear one. <laughs> to be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press are all over us. This origami killer case. Yeah, I know. Crept no one likes on the us, FBI. And it's becoming a national concern. There are hundreds of killers in this country, but what do you know? This guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. Then the press get onto it. And we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, it's none of my business. What is this look you no. are giving him? <laughs> of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress, and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. Even if he's not guilty, because the press suck. Hmm. Not bad. You're welcome. I don't know if I like that shirt and tie and jacket oh, combo, but Charlie you know whatever. She'll show you to your office. I guess it works. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. Why are you yelling It'll again? Give you, an idea of the political you are six here. feet away from me. Thank you, sir. Norman doesn't have welcome to yell. To the club, Jaden. I'm just going to pretend the police chief guy or whatever has just you know really shit hearing, and that's why he thinks Norman can't hear him from six feet fucking away. I'm ready to start. Maybe we should kick off by talking about the case. I have some work to finish here. Let's talk about that later if you don't mind. I'm gonna play fucking solitaire. Okay. Once you walk away. Uh, no problem. I was trying to play Halo Infinite Just and let me know it when came over here, goddammit. I'm trying to play Stardew Valley. I need to go harvest my parsnips. Hello. Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. 2011, I'm, I'm pretty sure you could Larry on my behalf. get other things that optimize your oh, time that not watches. Sense. But it's a nice looking watch. Like, that being said, the origami killer is one lucky SOB. Okay, so when it... Oh, wait, wait. Okay, so when it comes down to serial killers, the absolute best or worst of them are meticulous planners. Some carry out very careful and decisive plans and are patient. Yeah, no, I. it's not that I don't get that, but, like, the, the level, again, it's not like he's luring kids off to secluded parts of the city. They established, okay, he apparently stole, okay, I don't know what time he stole Sean. But we don't know when the park cleared out. Uh, Madison finds out he's using a police outfit to, to, to have, you know, kids to come with him. So it's like he's actually going through that. Like, that means their parents have to be missing or away for them to even be approaching a, t a cop for him to utilize that whole thing. So it's like, okay, you managed to find this many parents that looked away or wandered off enough. See, okay, it makes sense for Sean Morris to be like, Oh, Mr. Police Officer, please help me. My fucking father has wandered off without telling me again. I don't, even though my house is nearby, I'm guessing. Can you help me find my dad? How many other parents that had, <laughs> that had their kids taken and drowned? How also had their parents wander off? I guess they could have left them somewhere. But kids that are normally, like, let's say, used to their parents not being around, don't normally panic and go to a cop when they can't find their parents. For example, if you look at Scott's backstory, okay, his whole thing launched because his deadbeat dad wouldn't come help him save his drowning brother. He couldn't go find a cop to go help. He didn't even try. Because, you know, by the time he went back to go check on his brother, his brother died. 
so he didn't have a lot of time anyway. So it's like, okay, it's not like you even approached a cop. You don't have, like, weird PTSD or something about that. So it's like, okay, he's apparently using that as an excuse. He could be kidnapping kids in the middle of crowded situations, which happens. Don't get me wrong, it happens. But he's using a disguise that would necessitate the parent being, I don't know, missing enough for the kid to actually maybe question it. Because even if he approached a kid in the police outfit saying, Oh, hey there, son, I see you look a little lost, or where's your dad? The, the, the kid be like, oh, my dad went to the bathroom, or my dad's right over there, instead of his dad actually, like, if the dad is actually missing, then the kid be like, yeah, I don't know where my dad is, and then he's like, oh, well, here, we'll go find him, you just hop in my car, like, because if he approached him, and the kid's like, no, I know where my dad is, he'd be like, um, okay, well, you want to come wait, and, like, either the kid will go, because they're dumb, or the kid won't go, because there's dumb i don't know <laughs> like there's a lot going on with with some of the planning uh, again they, they kind of touch on like you know okay he waits until it rains and then he makes sure to you know use nondescript flowers and he grows his own flowers even though they're a common type of flower but there's no receipts for the flower like i get that but at the same time what happens if the weather didn't play out for you the way that it did? Yeah, weather reports can be kind of accurate, but it's the weather and it doesn't have to follow human plans. Like, okay, you watch the weather the week before, you have all this stuff set up, and you're like, oh, hot dog, next week I can find a chance to steal Sean Mars and throw him in a pit so he can drown slowly over the next five days. I get it. Again, they established that in this area, it rains a lot, but like, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm used to living in Michigan and the weather here is fucking stupid and no one knows what the fuck it wants to do half the time. It must be nice to Captain live in a more consistent place weather-wise. Follow me. Because like someone could argue, like, well, if you go, like, so out in Nevada, it's like, you're, I'm asking my friend about like the weather out there. He's like, oh, it's always like this. It's, it's cloudless and dry and hot. No humidity. It's like, okay, that's just how it always is. But they're also on the fucking desert. I mean, like, people could argue it's like, okay, the UK, it's like always rainy. Or it's always cloudy. That's not this, actually true, but it does happen a, a lot office. of the time. That's where I was told to take you. But. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Just in general, the way all the, the, the characters in this game come together are, are just contrived. And I get it. That's part of the fun of it. That's part of the fun of it. And it's like, okay, don't think about it. Just okay. turn your brain off. Time to work. Think a little bit about it, a little bit about it, but not too hard about it, because who cares? You beat me to the bunch. I just said like England is rainy and cloudy. To be honest, the few times when I was in England, it wasn't all that rainy or cloudy. In August, it was quite nice. It was very warm and sunny. In the winter, it it was cold. They don't get a lot of snow there, at least where I was visiting, which is um, one of the suburbs of, of London. Um, like, they did get rain a lot one time I was out there, and that was because a fucking hurricane was off the coast, so they were getting the, the outskirts of the storm, kind of like... Step one. Oh. Change the office. That was weird. That was a very weird th th um, hang up in the game. I thought something broke. Okay. Um, we're just gonna do flowers. Er, flowers. Fall, autumn, forest. Okay, get those out of here. So do I have to actually look at all of these? Um... I mean, sure, I- The killer's car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. Why can't 
did you determine who has that type of car? That seems like a very specific thing. Hmm. A common species. That doesn't help much. Fucking everywhere! The orchid is a common species. It can be found at any flower shop. No prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. I have to say, I'm surprised that they folded this origami apparently wearing gloves. Just one origami store in town. Um... Because, I don't know, doing a lot of things with gloves on, especially, I don't know, is folding origami in gloves easier? I'm not good at origami. It's like, oh, that's just convenient that you can wear gloves and do your origami figures and there's going to be no fingerprints. Oh. And do I have to look Eight at victims in the last three years. All boys, aged between 9 and 13. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Convenient. Bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned. In rainwater. How often are, are the kids, like, what's the rainy season for where they live? Is it all the time rainy season? Does it not freeze over? Does it not get warm where it's not raining? Eight kids in three years? So I guess he's killed in between. <laughs> Here's the other thing. Okay, so eight kids in three years. So about two kids a year. Does he set up the same trial for every dad? Or does he have different trials for every single one? Because, okay, the car that you use for the bear trial, the guy that's been keeping it in check for the last couple of years says it's been there a while, meaning it had been planned to be used for a bit of time. It was just there. He bothered to rent out apartments for people to go cut their fingers off in. He, he had access to an old electrical plant that wasn't actually out of commission. And he, that, see, this is the, the, this is the other big thing that you'll, you'll see everyone poke holes into the story with. The trial of the butterfly with the electrical conductors or whatever, right? Before you get there, you have to crawl through a tunnel covered in glass meaning someone had to crawl through that tunnel first and lay the glass in there but that person we're led to believe because there's no other people helping Scott is supposed to be Scott how long ago did he crawl through that tunnel to spread the glass now if he did it right after he stopped being a cop where he was still you know fairly thin maybe but I I don't know Right? Because if it was current Scott, I can't really see him crawling through those tunnels to spread the glass that Ethan has to go through. And then even at the end of that, you have to go through that tiny little, like, pipe hole. Anyway, it's like, would Scott fit through here? Because that's the only way he could have gone out. Because if not, he'd have to crawl back through the tunnel he just crawled through, covered in glass. <laughs> like... I know you're not supposed to think about it, but it's hard to not think about it. <laughs> and again, if he's using the same fucking trials... The killer has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Oh, this won't make the geo-profiling any easier. If he uses the same trials, then what? He just had nine cars and fucking storage for people to use? Like, h how many... I don't know. <laughs> You're not supposed to think about it. But it's... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. It's so hard to not think about it. 
planning or not, if you are an ex-cop that has enough money to rent out, you know, enough storage units or, like, use cars at different places across the city and no one questions it, like, good for you, I suppose. Do cops make that much? Same ritual. I guess he's a private a eye. An orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found. Which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. I don't know. It's just one of those things. Well, that, that okay. Even if you're a lieutenant as a cop, I don't. What? What's here? Let, let's let's go fucking average salary of cop lieutenant. I don't know. Um, in 2011, he wasn't even no, because right now it's 2011. He's retired. So let's say when the the murder started. I don't know how long ago, let's say 2005, right? 2005, right? <laughs> this is important. Oh, let's see, the average pay rates for a police officer of 2005. This is for the well, federal government, right? Okay. 51K? Like, the, the wiki actually points out that Scott Shelby has a significant amount of money because he's just throwing bills around the whole game, usually. So he has some kind of nest egg. He has his own place that has, like, antique kind of appliances in it. He has an old-ish kind of car that he has to upkeep on. He has an old typewriter that he has to get parts for. He has this whole elaborate fucking setup hidden behind his dresser for growing orchids and keeping an eye on the current kid he's drowning, right? Not to mention he's renting out a parking garage space for, I don't know, I don't remember how many years to keep a car in tip-top shape and I'm assuming paying the garage to upkeep the car so it's running for when the dad that needs to use it gets there. He's renting out apartments he has deals with a club owner of some sort to rent out these apartments. Like, he has a shit ton, well, not a shit ton, but a fair amount of cash to throw around. And it's like, even if you're, like, one of the most celebrated cops in the city, like, how much are you actually going to be making? Because they didn't say he made it to, like, police chief or anything. He was a lieutenant. I don't know how much lieutenants make. I don't know how long ago he retired, if he was just saving up really, really well, because... He grew up in a deadbeat home. After his brother died, he got put into foster care. Granted, we don't know what the financial situation was of the family that adopted him. Maybe they paid into it, like, play into it somehow. They, 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 maybe they're just fucking loaded for some reason. Because it's not like Kramer was helping him. Kramer didn't know, like, he, he didn't follow through with keeping up with Scott. He laid flowers at his brother's grave, but that was it. Because he felt guilty. But... It's not like he had any direct connection to Kramer, which is the, the, the richest character that we know of in this particular storyline. Like, it's just, again, you think about it too hard, it gets really dumb. <laughs> We're not getting that far in this game because I'm just going to keep talking about shit that I'm sure people have already talked about over and over again. But, you know... No, I don't need to change the environment. We... Okay. I think we're done. Hold on, actually. I need to double check some stuff. So for nerd. Where is it? Crime scene, Mad Jack, fish tank, and solving the puzzle. Find all the clues with Ari. You must also find the origami killer. It will take almost all the playthrough to earn. All right.
Well, see, Scott wasn't FBI. He was just a police lieutenant, as far as we're aware. Scott's always been local, too, and that's why he knows the area so much, to find out these places where he can even drown and then dump the kids' bodies. I'd rather go wash my face. I'm just saying. I need to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. See, in, in Deadly Sorry. Premonition or Twin Peaks, people can argue, well, those serial killers, know you know, it. did weird shit. They had supernatural crap going on. There's no supernatural things necessarily going on here in Heavy Rain. Heavy Rain is a very, um, grounded... It's a... Is everything alright, sir? No, I'm having a fucking... Okay, don't ask if I'm okay and then wander off. That's fine. No one. No one must see. Alright, can I have control, please? That guy already saw you, but, you know, whatever. But again, it's like, this game is, is grounded in reality, more or less. You have very, you know, no, I was pressing the buttons. You have very human characters doing human things. They have problems. They have things they have to overcome. So when you start to think too hard about murder mystery, it's like, mm, okay. I get it. Reality can be stranger than fiction, but I think the level of uh, fiction that they're they're running here is is just a tiny bit contrived. Because it's not like this isn't even a case where the murderer killed somebody in his house and then had to wait a certain amount of days to go dispose of the body. He he needs the weather to cooperate with him a specific amount of time. Because Norman said, "Oh, between 3 to 5 days later the the boys are found drowned." Okay, that either means it rained a lot more in three days compared to the five days. And it's like, well, that's convenient or something. Like, what happens if it what happens if it only rained three days, this but it didn't rain as much as it off. needed to to drown the kid? Please tell him what happened. It, you, you it was know? this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while. And then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses. And when I turned back... Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It must have been about... We're just gonna press X for this. Um, we don't need the trophy for it, but all the right answers are yeah, on X. Yeah, that's it, 4.15. I remember exactly, because I looked at the clock in the park when we arrived. I did not. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? Clothes. <laughs> he was wearing a coat. A beige coat. And a pair of pants. Oh, hi, Norman. I see you got over your fucking drug thing. Green pants. At a very convenient time. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? I had a blackout. I... I can't remember exactly. It all happened so fast. You say you took your son to the park after school. See, even these cops aren't buying it because it doesn't make sense. Because he can't admit to Why having blackouts. Why did it take blackouts. you so long to contact Because he's already worried about being the origami killer. I... I don't know. I panicked. I didn't know what to do. Did Sean have any particular difficulties, Mr. Mars? Anything that might have caused him to run away? Yes. <sighs> Sean is a sensitive child. Our relationship has been a little difficult recently. Everything okay at school? Any particular problems between you and your wife? I like how the only option I could see there My was wife and yes. I have been separated for the last six months. But Sean would not have gone off without telling his mother or me. All right. That's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do... Do you think the origami killer... Listen. Your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple hours. That's a very um but what optimistic is view killer? of what happened here. Well then we have about four days to find him alive. Three if you're super unlucky. Five if you're lucky. It's it's RNG with the rain on on how long your son has to live. 
It's such a stupid setup. Did they find something? The natural ticking clock is no, strange. Nothing yet. It's not but like they threw the him mic. out. It almost would have been better. Do they, do they think it's the if Scott, thing? if if this took place not in a rainy country, but again out it, in the desert. Too early to say. Um, there's a good chance you're gonna have five consecutive days where the desert's going to be inhospitable and hot, and if you put a child out there, they would die. <laughs> Of course, they'd probably die a lot faster than than five days. But how could you lose Storm like that? A at least here he stays hydrated the full often. time of I mean, for God's sake, whatever. To keep your eye on a this child is terrible. In the park. Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? Uncalled for. You both failed with Jason. You didn't tell him not to run off without his parents in a crowded mall. Across the street, outside of the building, by the time he was 10 years old. I miss him so I'm just, yeah. Just saying. <laughs> um. Okay. Once this loads up, though, we're gonna we're gonna call it for the night. Um. Oh, great. Our next trophies in this this upcoming chapter, but we'll we'll do that next week. Um. I I want this to the second playthrough not to take as long, but again, I can't really control it because we have to basically watch everything again um which is why we're not going for all endings i'm not going to be able to get all the trophies because if i want to get all endings i have to i think play through this a handful of times make sure i got everything i need to make a checklist for that just for my own personal use oh okay we don't need to watch this we're gonna go back to the main menu because it should load us into the the uh, convenience store the next time we start up um, but, yeah. Uh, we're kind of- well, even though we're trophy hunting, we're kind of going for bad end, I guess, here. Which might make getting nerd- difficult? Well, no, I have to- I just have to find out who the origami killer is. I don't have to make sure I don't die. <laughs> that sounds bad. Find the origami killer. Not stop the origami killer, but find the origami killer. Oh. Okay. So we might be doing some save scumming here. Um. Because I need to convince the robber to, to leave. But if I want to get the perfect crime achievement, I kind of need the robber to kill him. Shao. Oh. That means I'm not going to be able to get... Mm. I might have to do some planning if I don't want to have to do this a third- well, I won't do this a third time on stream. And anytime I go back- okay. Oh, but Scott must survive the old warehouse. Yeah, we might have to do some weird- mmm, damn it! That makes this difficult. Unless, mm, unless I can copy files, I might have a problem. I know. Actually, wait. I don't have to play through the whole game, right? Can't I just go through and play it via chapters? Why is it only unlocked up to that point? Uh oh. Um. Sorry, now I'm just thinking. Can I not copy these? Fuck! Hmm. Well, I guess that's a problem I will have to figure out another time. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go for now. Uh, and quick announcements. 
Wednesday we should be starting Little Nightmares too. I promise this time. I know we've we've pushed it back into oblivion at this point, but I mean it. I mean it. Um, hold me accountable. <laughs> um, we should be starting Little Nightmares too. I'm actually looking forward to that one quite a lot because I do like Little Nightmares one and Little Nightmares two uh, should be just as good. Um, Friday is more Zelda. I know Thanksgiving's on Thursday, but I'm probably only doing stuff on that day, so it shouldn't interfere with the actual stream days. Uh, Sunday's art stream, and then we should be, you know, kind of back into proper schedule by, by next week. Fingers crossed. Uh, like I said, it's just been a little bit of a struggle for me to get back into the grooves after I took one vacation. And again, this is why I don't take time off. It just throws me, uh, off kilter way too much. Um... We are working on a sub and follow goal up there. I've adjusted the sub goal again. Uh, I want to be a little bit more uh, reasonable with my goals. I think what I was setting it before was a bit too high. Um, and I'm thinking if we can get it. I know I said if we got it, we could do Sonic 06. Um, I might throw this up on the Discord for consideration. I know we're still figuring out the multiplier day, by the way. Um, which might have to wait until after the holidays just for, uh, time's sake. Um, but if we can hit our sub goal, or sub and follow goals, maybe we'll see about doing either Sonic 06, a playthrough for Sonic 06, um, or doing, starting up another another Pokemon Nuzlocke. I know I said I wouldn't do another one, but, um, just looking into, like, the, the Diamond and Pearl remakes, maybe it won't be, like, super insufferable, depending on, um, any kind of balancing that they've changed up. Again, I, I haven't actually looked into it for Diamond and Pearl. Um, but, you know, maybe it'll be okay. So, you know, if we can get there, we can do another Nuzlocke, and I can suffer that way, too. Because... <laughs> uh... Because, yeah... Um... Yeah. Um... But I think, other than that, that's it. Uh, as usual, for updates or any kind of discussions, I really recommend checking out the Twitter or the Discord. Discord for discussions. Um, links are down below. You guys can always find them down there. If not, you know, bother me <laughs> on Twitter even. Of course, if you can't find the, the link down below for Twitter, I guess you can't. <laughs> um, but you should be able to find them, hopefully. Um, but... But yeah, I think that's it. Um, I'm going to go. I'll talk to you guys hopefully on Wednesday when we start Little Nightmares 2, 2 for, for realsies this time. <laughs> um, and until then, I hope you take care. Uh, it's 25 degrees out, so, you know, stay warm and all that fun shit. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.